What's up guys, uh, I'm a little bored right now, so I thought I would just uh, watch some of my old sparring footage, well not old, but like recent sparring footage with uh, Julio, just uh, just for fun, just to analyze it and just uh, see uh, what I was doing and just like commentate over it. So the uh, videos I'm going to be watching are um, my vlog 52 and 53. Uh, we've been sparring over at a Capatillo's boxing gym and uh, it's a really cool gym. And so for this one, this was recorded off of his phone, uh, which was much better footage than than mine, which was just putting it in the corner. So here we go. So I'm in the gray shirt, obviously, with the uh, Super Saiyan hair. And we usually start off pretty, pretty light, uh, and just filling each other out. I think we go about three rounds on this day. Yeah, I always like to go for that uh, that body shot in southpaw. That seems to uh, really gotten the hang of it recently. Even though I haven't sparred for like a whole like month and a half, I think because I've been training for a uh, jiu-jitsu tournament. But yeah, the angle is always much better when you actually have someone like recording. And there's that body shot again from Southpaw. Throwing anything from like the opposite stance is always much harder, but it's all about drilling. Just, I got the hang of it because I just drilled it like a billion times. I landed a counter there. Jab, jab. They're always bumping like Mexican music at this gym. He jabbed me there. I throw that looping body shot a lot. I, I land it sometimes. Some people were telling me that I look buff in this video, but it's really just a shirt. That shirt is tight as hell. Ooh, he landed a, a nice straight. I'm really vulnerable to that straight um, whenever I'm in southpaw. I'm not that good at moving my head in southpaw, so I get hit with that a lot. Stepped on his shoe there a little bit. And he was really good with that uh, that quick check left hook whenever like his opponent is coming in. I remember before like rewatching some of our like older older footage like Julio was much more like defensive minded and like he would he was pure head movement but now like I can't get away with like any sort of um, uncalculated like like aggression because like now instead of like moving his head he just like immediately counters everything I throw so I have to be way more careful and that's the first round I'm gonna go round number two so here I think we're gonna pick it up a little bit yeah God, my hair is so damn bright. Yeah, I decided to stay in Southball for a lot of this uh, sparring session, it looks like. And there goes that body shot again. Back to Orthodox. Yeah, as you can see, I'm having a lot of trouble just like getting inside because he just, like I said, he counters everything now. Like I can't get away with anything. Like in, in our older videos, <laughs> I ended up punching the ropes there. Um, but as you can see, yeah, he's just like, he's a lot faster than he was before. And like, he's much more um, like off, off, like offensive minded now.
you can see here I'm like switching stances I'm trying to like find an angle to get inside but it's really hard to uh, to find an opening with him now because he's just so fast and I throw a left hook of my own nice check left hook by me Yeah, I'm pretty successful with that straight left to the body. Here I'm trying to gauge uh, the distance, trying to feel them out. The timer there is always confusing because like the 30 second break makes the exact same sound when like the round is over. And here I'm like turning up the pace but I don't want to do it too much because then I'll like tire myself out. Nice uh, straight by Julio. And like I said whenever I'm in southpaw like I don't, it's like I struggle moving my head like off the center line. There's another check left hook by me. Jab. Yeah, and again, I'm like angle switching, just trying to like find an opening. And now I'm just, yeah, turning up the pressure. <laughs> it's funny, like, as I was watching myself, like, in my head, I was like, throw the body shot, and I did. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty hard punch that I landed. Let me see that again. Well, let me go back to the body shot. It's like right there, like if his body's completely open. <laughs> and I was thinking of like throwing the body shot like as I'm watching this and I did it in the video as well, which is pretty funny. Oh yeah, that one I came over at the top. Um, probably a little bit too hard. Yeah, I'm getting pretty tired here, so it's like all my movements are like twice as sloppy. So I'm starting to land the jab more. Bought a shot again. I'm pretty good at like, whenever I'm like cornered, like I almost want that, like, I'm pretty good at countering. Ooh, that was a good time body shot by me. I gotta be careful here being in southpaw with my head movement. Yeah, at this point I'm like exhausted. I'm just trying not to show it. <laughs> nice jab by Julio. Last 30 seconds. It looks like we're both pretty, pretty exhausted at this point. Yeah, I'm turning up the pressure. And I think that's the last round. Uh, yeah, that was the highlights. 
And now I'll go to the um, other video, which was this one. So this one I recorded off of my GoPro. I think this one we do four rounds. So, let me see here. So here I'm in the, the gray again, blue gloves. Same thing as like the first, the first one. Um, in the beginning we just kind of feel each other out, just like, uh, almost like warm up. Just, uh, this one's a lot more, uh, we, we were both a lot more aggressive in this sparring session. I remember I had a I had a much harder time here. Yeah, I remember in this one I tried to stay in uh, orthodox a little bit more than the, the last one. This guy's really doing sit-ups right in front of the camera. <laughs> There's that body shot again. Yeah, that's become one of like my favorite, um, my favorite shots. I landed on like almost everybody. I, I'm not really sure why it's so successful. I think I think it's like hard to counter. Like from the opposite stance, for some reason, I don't know. Here I'm just trying to get the distance, throwing it again. Yeah, you can tell here I'm like struggling a lot more to like find an opening. It's not as easy as last time. That's a looping body shot. Yeah, whenever I'm in southpaw, like my my guard is a lot tighter, so I, I'm I tend to block more. And then when I'm in not see when I'm in orthodox, sorry, I tend to block more with a tight guard. And then when I'm in southpaw, I kind of like move back a little bit and like use uh, more movement rather than blocking. Yeah, I go for that like check left hook. Um, I like to do that off of like a stance switch. And that's the first round, pretty light round. Um, pretty sure we're gonna pick it up in the next round. And I think the timer sets only like a 30 second break, which kind of like sucks. <laughs> Cause you don't get that much rest. And that's my famous uh, stance switch. Like, I don't even know like what type of punch that is. It's like a step in straight. And yeah, Julio's turning up the pressure here too. He's getting a lot more aggressive. Yeah, I'm like a lot more hesitant here to, to throw because, as you can see, he's a lot faster than me. So it's, like, it's hard for me to see a lot of his shots coming. And his technique has gotten like, a lot better over like the past like two months. Nice straight there. As you can see also when I'm in orthodox, I tend to plant my feet more. And that's my famous uh, stance switch uh, hook. I don't even know what it's called, I just like throw the right hook off of a stance switch. I landed later later in the session too. It's like really unpredictable and it's like really, like I tend to find that a lot of people like find it tough to see it coming. And there's that straight again. There's that body shot.
Yeah, Julio's really the only person that really counters that straight left body shot. Like, it's like normally people can't really counter it. I don't know why, but Julio's really good at like using his uh, like check left hook to counter me, like more than anybody else. Probably because he's just seen me throw it more than anybody else. Cause I spar him more than anybody else. At this point, I'm being a little, a little bit more conservative of my energy. I'm trying to pick my shots while being careful at the same time. Okay, Hugo's head movement is, uh, it's hard to deal with sometimes. Like, I can't, a lot of times, like, I can't find him. Ooh, nice straight and a uh, left hook by Julio. Like I said, that look at that. Like his his speed is like, and his head movement is like it's it's drastically improved in, in the past two months. And like, I really have a hard time sometimes like finding him. And like I said, seeing your shots coming is really difficult. I was picking up like a piece of <laughs> trash there or something. All right, round number three. I'm always like super gassed out by the end of the third round. Yeah, we're really picking it up here. Yeah, again, it's kind of hard for me to find him. I think we both landed with our hooks there. Nice jab by me. And yeah, landed the jabs here. I think I accidentally stepped. Oh no, I think I threw a, a low blow or something. Yeah, you see, he just like counters everything now. It's like a lot harder for me. And there's that body shot, one of my favorite shots. Boom, beautiful straight right by Julio. That landed clean. And then I counter with the right overhand. Again, he gets that straight. Like I said, his, his technique is like getting a lot better. So like his punches come like, like just straight to you. And like, like I said, he's really fast. So I have a, a lot of trouble seeing his shots coming. Like look at that, he's just so much faster than I am. I can still counter him if I time it, but like the speed difference is very clear between him and I. And yeah, he landed a nice jab there. I'm trying to find that stand switch overhand again. Yeah, normally I feel safe <laughs> when I'm backed up in the corner because I'm able to roll with a lot of the shots. But with him, it's like I... I don't feel safe. <laughs> and I landed a hook there. Again, he gets me with that straight. Like I said, whenever I'm in a, <laughs> whenever I'm in southpaw, I get hit. And <laughs> yeah, like I said, his head movement is really good. So it's like it's pretty frustrating sometimes to like try to find him. And there's that straight again. Like I said, even though he's faster, like if I time him, like I'm still able to uh, to land on him. And again, as you can see there, his, his speed and head movement just totally. Let me, let me play that again. He just totally outlanded me there. Yeah, that was a beautiful uh, combination by him. And here I'm pretty tired, I'm just trying to survive. Oh, there we go, that's the end of the round. And let me skip to the, uh, the fourth round. So here we get we get a bit of a better angle because the other ring has like a little 
um, like shelf where I can put the camera on. And here we're just talking. And unfortunately, <laughs> the the view is blocked a little bit, but we can still see for the most part. I'm gonna try to skip a little bit. Yeah, I have a, I have trouble seeing his jab too. It's a lot faster. And there's that uh, stand switch overhand. Yeah, we really, we really like went pretty hard in this round. Yeah, it's super fast. Like I said, boom, I can counter if I time it, and then I just return the one twos and. Yeah, like I said, I, like he's like the one person that I don't feel safe in the corner with because he's just so fast. He's just so hard to see coming. And I was running. I guess I'll I'll watch uh, just a few more just because I have time. Um, I'll just watch this one and I'll, and I'll call it a video. So this one is. Um, we were sparring with uh, two of the other guys, or two other guys that uh, uh, they like go to that gym often. This is like my second time sparring here, like ever. And luckily, the great thing is that like these two guys that we spar with are like totally just like the same size as us, so. And whenever I like spar someone that I don't really like know, um, you know, we do, I tend not to like go too hard, you know, just because like you don't really know each other, so. But then again, like whenever I spar with someone that I don't know, it's like they have like a lot of trouble with my stand switching because like. Julio, like, he's able to, to counter it because he's so used to me doing it, but whenever I do it up against, like, someone that I don't know, like, they just, like, there, I, I'm able to land it pretty, pretty easily. Like, my combinations from, like, my stance, which is because they're just, it's, like, so weird. Like, like, almost nobody else does that, so it really catches people off guard. It's like you're fighting, like, two different people at the same time. And he catches me there pretty good. And like I said, I feel pretty safe in the corner, like right there, in the middle of the shoulder roll. Shoulder roll again. Yeah, like I said, my, my defense is pretty good. I'm able to counter pretty easily off the corner. Nice check left hook by me. Yeah, when you're a corner, it's all about just rolling with the shots. It's like... It's pretty simple. I mean, you might take a shot here and there, but... Stay relatively safe, and like... And they're like, they're the ones pressing forward, so whenever you do counter, it's like... Twice as hard when you hit them than when they hit you. Yeah, the here, rolling with the shots again. Yeah, I don't think he landed a single punch there. Mm, 
and I ate a, I ate a right hook there. One thing that I have to do more is I have to like duck under punches. Um, I don't really do that. That's uh, something I should do. And uh, I landed a good straight there. I eat a monster straight here. There it is. That one caught me off guard. Counter with the body shot there. Nice jab by me. Like I said, yeah, like I'm pretty pretty good at countering whenever the other person's like pushing forward. Dual exchange there. And then here I'm sparring with uh, the other kid. I think we're, we were both a little bit tired here from the sparring earlier, so we weren't too aggressive. And there's my uh, stance switch. I don't even know what I call that. <laughs> but it, it, it really only worked. And there's a check left hook. I remember after this part, like, I kept throwing that check left hook and I ended up injuring my, my shoulder. And there's that counter again. And the looping body shot. Yeah, I'm just, like, looking for an opening here. Trying to pick my shots. Again, in the corner, blocking the everything. Corner. And there I couldn't counter anything, so I just started punching back. Again, there's that stand switch. And this is Julio. Julio was sparring with them as well. Yeah, that'll do it for the video. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun um, sparring there. And uh, 